this isn't the other chair. No, it's the new chair. Because you broke the other, the other chair broke. Good morning, everyone. No, it didn't. It's upstairs for the sewing room. Oh, that's right. We like that for the sewing yes. room. Yes. Are we going to say good morning? Oh, good you? morning. <laughs> Um, Sorry. That's okay. We're just having a discussion about the chair. So we're going to do a new video today, and what we're going to do is we're going to do the beginning of Moon's craft room. Dun, Yay! Dun, dun. That's right. Um, now that everything down here in the herb room is is together, I guess as it's going to get for now. We uh, are adding more to it, though. Yes. So. Yes. This will even take you into that. How all this is going to connect into the library upstairs. Yes, there is a library upstairs. Um, uh, you know, but now I guess we're going to take them for a trip upstairs and show them what we're going to do with the craft room. Yes, we are. Okay, are you ready to go? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. After I change, though, because I'm not working in this sweater. Oh, yes, you need to change. Yeah. This is a nice sweater. I do like it. Yeah. All right, folks, get ready. Okay, so like we said a second ago, let's take you up to the project and show you exactly what we're doing. Now, as all y'all know, this is at least uh, Moon's Herb Room. So if you leave out of the Herb Room and you come out through this little jutting here, you go up to the second floor of the, of the house. Here we have three rooms. We have the two bedrooms over there. We have the bathroom right here. And then we have this huge room here. Now if you see over there where all the plywood is and we got the framework started, let me back up and catch you all up to what happened. Um, this house was built in the early 50s, I think 52 or 51, something like that. Most of the stuff on the wall is this old cardboard, I think it's EBS or something that they called it back then. It's just cardboard. It's basically just thick cardboard. So what we did is we took this off the walls, we insulated them a little better, and we placed plywood up on this back wall. This back wall is basically, I guess this was an attic, uh, the attic, kind of like a barn shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into Moon's craft room. Now, the plan is, we're going to start here with our sewing station, which is going to wrap around past the window here to her beading station, which this is all going to be removed. And then over here, once we get all this cleaned up from the leak that the roof used to have, we're going to do her resin station over here. But if I could get the camera woman to pan underneath this table here, there's the heater vent that comes to the second story. So after a little bit of finagling with some venting and stuff, then the resin station is going to be built over the top of that. Okay, so what we've done is we've put up the plywood. We're framing out for her work, works de uh, uh, counter, which is right here on the floor. And we're doing cabinets for storage on one side and then we're going to have matching cabinet on this side as well this way she has room to put her stuff um, so what we're going to do is we're going to film this in uh, increments mind me in case I'm a little jittery I'm quitting smoking it's driving me crazy uh, but we're getting so much done <laughs> um, so we're going to film this in, in increments and let you people see exactly what we're doing, how we're doing it, and maybe give you all a little bit of ideas for your own home, so forth and so on. Okay. So good. So good. 
My knees are killing me. Bam, 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 bam. Ow, pain. Oh, you did not record that. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I didn't think you were going to record that. I apologize for everyone whose ears are bleeding. No, he doesn't. Oh, come on. Looks like I might need new bits, baby. Of course, there's a knot. Wow. Yeah, it amazes me. You got all these new fangled little brackets that you put on the wood to make these little freaking angled screw holes. You know what? In my day, we had a freaking hammer and a goddamn nail. That was what we had. Now you got all these fit. This is not right. Because that's the wrong one. That's the wrong side. <laughs> hey, what do you want? It's snowing. Yeah, show them the view. Oh, that was good. Okay, well what you can see is all those pallets outside and the reason we're showing them to you is because basically what we've done is we've taken all the wood off of the pallets, all the different sizes, and what we're going to do, if you'll come over here so we can show them, is we love this old wood. But the problem with the wood is simply that, as you can see, it's split, it's got nail holes. The nail holes don't bother us so much as the splits. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to clean these boards up, and then we're going to cut them in like 6 inch, 8 inch, maybe a foot, you know, maybe a couple 4 inch pieces. And then what we're going to do is, Moon was looking online, and she found this thing called Unicorn Tears. And unicorn it, Spit. Oh, Unicorn Spit. I am so sorry. I think Tears sounds better than Spit, but whatever. Hey, it's so, color. So what we're going to do is, once we get her shelf unit up, which we've already got built, but we have to paint, we're going to take the little pieces of wood and stagger them, and they're going to be multicolor. Like, want to be green, want to be red. But they're not going to be solid painted, they're going to be like pearlescent. We're, what we do is we took like a quarter cup of paint to a cup of water, watered it, mixed it up, watered it down, and you smear the wood, let it dry, and then coat it, and it gives it that color tone while still allowing you to see the grain and the pieces of wood. Now, of course, we've got a lot of work. Hey, you want to pan over here and show them all the wood? All this wood's got to be cleaned up, and that's what we're fixing to get onto next. So, I guess the next time that we film, what we'll do is uh, we'll be to a point where you can see how this is going to look, right? I think so. All right. Well, I hope you like this first video of a few to come. Uh, we're going to walk you through the whole step, and I guess uh, we'll go from there, right, baby? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so what we've done up to this point in the craft room is, if you pan over here, my love, we've got all these different pieces of wood that have been cut, sanded, uh, you know, bad nails taken out, good nails left in, and then we've taken these pieces 
and we come over here to the wall and we put them up. And what we do is we take a piece and then we dip in the glue and we glue the back of the piece and then we stick it up on the wall and what'd you do with my nail gun? Oh, it's right here. Okay. And then with the nail gun, we just tack it up in place. And it's like a really wicked, crazy game of Tetris. So uh, we're going to do this. We'll finish it out. It's going to go all the way up here, all the way up underneath, and all the way to the back wall. And when we get done, we'll film some more and show you exactly our Tetris playing abilities. <laughs> <laughs> all right? a little bit of a gap. Let's check that out. Keep it even with the piece on the left. I want to go with a straight piece after that. Here's your... Uh-oh. Got a level missing. Okay. Good girl. Oh, Jesus Christ. How does that look? Remember, we got the... We got... I can't freaking get this open. Come on, muscles. Look at you. Whoa! That was good. Well, it came out a lot quicker than I said. Good thing we need it. <laughs> okay, let me have it. Well, as you can see, we're getting close to the end of the top. Of course, now we still got the bottom over there to do. But, you know, that's no climbing. I'm working Lisa too hard over here. Well, we basically just glue the back of the board and then we knit, tack it in place and the glue will make it hold good, you know? So, there you go, my dear. Uh, you got your level? Beautiful. Okay, come on now. But anyway, as you can see, it's coming along nicely. Are we, oh. in, are we even in the shot? I don't know where they're somewhere. Can you, can you guys see us? Yeah, yeah. like they're going to be able to answer. <laughs> <laughs> but as you can see, um, everything is coming along nicely. Okay, I'm going to move you, so bear with me on this, folks. As you can see, we're almost to the top over there and the last few pieces across the top is all we got left and then we're going to come down and we're going to do the side here Moon, you want to move the step stool right there? No. Now that first one, that's going to have doors and be a cabinet. I'm swinging your way, honey. Mm -hmm. And then of course that one over there is going to be a cabinet as well. Now you notice once Moon moves out of the way again we have a plug under there that's going to be hit by the cabinet. We have a plug under here that's going to be hit under the cabinet. But then, of course, the lines are going to go up through the workspace so she has easy accessibility to plugs. So, anyway, honey. What? You want to take this? No. Okay. Well, you don't have to put it back. Oh. I was just going to do a cutaway. But... Okay. Okay, I'll get you that. Give me that. Last piece going up. Can you fit it? Yes, I got it. Is your gun? You have to move them out of your way. Just slide, no, fine. slide them back the other way. All right. Look at that! Woohoo! Whole top. Stage one. 
of stage one, phase one, phase one, stage one, one. one meteorocrity one, everything all the way from work table all the way up to the top is now finished. Now we just have that little bit on the side left. Okay, great. Okay. Well, as you guys can see, we have um, gotten. See this? I I need something longer with this. Turn it off. Well, as you can see, we've brought this up. If you want to film, come over here and show them the side of the cabinet. <laughs> Yeah, I know, that's kind of hard. It's just so how it... Whoops, wrong way. Maybe okay. It, okay, that's it, the side. Okay. Okay, now... And there goes Brutus. What's going to happen is... Okay. Now that we have this on, we can bring this down and connect it in and step all of this on to cover whatever you know, imperfections are here. So, we'll take all this down from here down to the ground, and then of course this is our ending where it's going to get a band <coughs> run up, probably something like this, to tie it off, or we haven't figured out exactly what we want to do there. But then the only other thing is we're going to wrap the fronts, so this is all going to be wrapped, because this is going to be the opening to the the door, our cabinet door, and that's about where we are so far. All right, here we are. As you can tell, everything behind me, we've pretty much got all the wood up on the wall. We got everything down below. Now, yes, we don't have the right side finished like we have the left side. Because we're fixing to mm -hmm. we're fixing to address this wall next. Wood on here. We want to remove this and put sheetrock up. For all you people that know about construction, yes, I made a mistake. I should have stripped this wall before I mounted all this stuff on it, but I'm old and I forgot. So sue me but it won't be a big problem because it's all going to get covered up anyway you're not going to see it so for whatever little bit's going to protrude, protrude out on the counters it won't even really be noticed and everything underneath is going to be inside the cabinet so that won't even be noticed either but in order to get this wall prepared for moon's beating station which you know we got to have a we're going to have a nice little surprise the way we're going to do this beating station, but that's for the next video. So as far as right now, oh, 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 I forgot. Here, let's show them this. We also picked up some trim, which is kind of like, you okay? Yeah. Which is going to kind of like picture frame it out when we're done. I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's going to look like this. Mm -hmm. And that like end it and uh, then of course all this is going to be shelves and the access panel to the bathroom tub water fixtures back there so pretty much that's everything we've got for this part of the project and next is going to be clear coating filling in the gaps and I guess we'll make another video with that and uh, We'll check in with y'all then. Okay. Okay. So, okay. As you can see, we've got it all trimmed out, or, or all the, the pallet wood has been cut, everything is encased. The only thing we have left now is the two doors. Well, actually, four doors because they'll be double doors. <laughs> and then we've, Moon has decided that she wants to bring the wood over here and we're going to stop it at the edge of these windows which if you notice these window seals have been primed with some purple we got a few little spots that we're going to freaking sand down make them look a little prettier and then this window is going to be purple to match the shelf which is going to be purple um, 
So basically now what we're going to do is this is all going to get sanded lightly and then we're going to clear coat this. But that's going to be the next video that we're going to include when we start our beading station over here. Now I do have some bad news. Moon has decided that we're not doing the unicorn spit. That she likes the natural wood, which, you know, quite honestly, so did I in the beginning. But it's Moon. Then stick your tongue out. I could do that too. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we're going to end this video with this. You can see the finished product. Well, Moon, not yet. You, well, no, it, th th as far as putting it up, it's all finished. Uh, we'll clear coat that and we'll include that into the next video where we're going to start with the beating station and all that stuff. So, okay. Um, we'll talk to y'all in the next video. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now that you've seen the progress <laughs> of the sewing area. Um... Yes, I... <laughs> Wow, what a what a video that we're was. We're having a day. Yes, we're definitely um. having a day. <laughs> so anyway, as you saw what we did up there with Lisa's sewing area, uh, of course, you know, with clear coating, right, my mind. Yes. The and shelves. Then caulking some of the uh, uh, cracks. Uh, yes. Thank oh you. yes, yeah. Just wait till you see what we're gonna do to fill in all the cracks. Um, yeah. Sorry about not changing or changing what yes is? changing our minds on the unicorn spit I'm sure some of you were curious on what that was gonna be but you know what I like the the the, the uh, uh, natural. yes thank natural. you natural would look better so I think clear coating it would be the optimal and besides that it'll help reflect the light a little bit with just having the clear coat instead yeah. of yeah, I think because of the, you know, well, once we get the lights up, I don't think it should be that bad. But still, I think the light will reflect more off the clear coat for the wood yeah. tones than throwing the color. Besides, I like the color, the wood, the, the, the look of the old wood. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, so. Okay, so anyway, till next time, we see you guys with the next video. Uh, well, the next craft room video, um, all the jars. I'm sure you're curious why those are out for oh, us yes, doing yes, the yes. That's right. <laughs> after video. Um, I'm going to do a video to teach you all how to make your own tinctures. So, and we'll post that one next week. So look forward to that. Yes, we are so trying to get back on track with the videos, guys. Please be patient with us. Uh, I mean, besides, you know, winter coming in, putting a big damper on everything. And now trying to close on the, this house which that has been a nightmare from uh, real estate hell um, we're, we're trying to get back on track just so many things have been jumping in our plate um, yes the tincture video is next yeah. and then I guess we need to try to start on the skill journal videos too well that's all you I know but my time has just been wrapped uh huh Okay. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> wow! Okay, guys, anyway. You, you all have witnesses for the abuse, right? Um, okay, so anything else that you have to tell? I think that's it. All right, so to all our YouTube folks and our followers from our group, um, you all have a most magical day and brightest blessings. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh.